Welcome to Workday, everybody. When does this start? <laughs> I am here with Alex, and we are about to hey, Beth. do one of the funnest, because funnest is a word, things in Workday, mm. which is requesting time off. So I'm guessing that's not going to be clicking on the personal information tab. Nope. Okay. It's, it's absence. Why? Is that a rolling piece of luggage? Yeah, you're going on a trip. Okay. So if you come into the absence worklet, Alex's favorite word, worklet. Worklet. We come to our absence calendar. Mm-hmm. It's really easy. You can just highlight the days that you want to request off and then oh. click request absence. I love this. The highlighting is awesome. Mm-hmm. So uh, hold on. I don't have to fill out the... This is a request? Yeah. Oh. You know what? We used to have to fill out that photocopied piece of paper. Oh. It had been photocopied a thousand times <laughs> over and so it barely... With our old logo on it and everything. And then I'd, like, I'd turn it into my... And we all had this sad moment where I'd turn it into my, to my supervisor and I'd go... Yep, we're still we're still passing over pieces of paper. It's yeah. 2017, but here we are now, moving on to the future. Say goodbye to the mimeograph. Thank machine. goodness. Okay, so we're gonna pick vacation as yeah, our type. Yeah, because we had the rolling luggage. Yeah, right. yeah. But I'm assuming you're gonna click on rolling luggage even if you're sick. Yeah, unfortunately. Just in case you need to throw up into the <laughs> rolling luggage. <laughs> Just in case. Okay. Okay, so once you've made your request, the default is to a full day, but you don't have to take a full day off if you don't want to. So say on Monday you're just going to take a half day. Okay. You can request a yeah, I've done that. half day. This and is great. What about the ones where the unanticipated uh, sick time? Oh, no problem. The calendar can handle absence entry retroactively. Okay, perfect. I love this. Yeah. Once it's submitted, it will go through for approval and processing. by Vacation. Your Mm -hmm. Sick. What else? What else is on that list? So, all, okay, basically any reason that you might be able to have to take off time. Jury duty, military service, all that stuff. Okay. Right, right. And I don't have to put in, and I don't have to detail international pickleball competition. That's fine. <laughs> you, you can enter that in the comments section. <laughs> yeah. And if after the fact you realize you're not going to take the time off, you can go into the calendar again and cancel the request. Easy. Awesome. It'll, it'll go away. And you've got a running balance over on the side. Now, this is a really cool feature. So this will show your balance as of any date. So you, you can pick today's can date. Can I put it in the future? Yeah. So can I let's... put it like in three years and be like, oh, what's my vacation going to look like in three years? Sure. <laughs> if you do that, you'll be able to kind of plan ahead and say, well, this is how much I'll have accrued. And so you can plan around that. That is actually the best thing I've seen you tell me about, maybe in your entire career. Oh, I feel great, the, this... great and bad about that. Well, <laughs> this, should be, this should be a moment of triumph in your career. Where you say... <laughs> I got Alex to cry during the pre during the tutorial on how to work the day off balance. I love this. I'm so glad. Beth, you made my day. I'm so glad. You made my work day work let. <laughs> I'm going to show you one last thing. Let's hear. Um, maybe not as compelling as as the oh, balance great. effective date, but Boy. view teams. Uh, if you click there, you can decide which workers out of the supervisory org we're going to choose all of them under James okay. Brown. That's that's this guy's manager. I like him. And theoretically, it'll pull up a calendar where you can see the scheduled vacation for other members of your team. Right. So for, for scheduling purposes, that can be really helpful. Okay. If you want to go in and look at any detail about your absences, things that you have on the books, you can come in and look at absence balance or uh, a report about your own absences. Mm -hmm. So you can go through and see and go, wait, I, had, I thought I had a couple of days that I... That I did. I I thought I had more days of vacation. You go back and go. Oh no, I did go to that. Right. The dog show in San Diego. Gosh, right. You can also make corrections in here. So anything you need to do, you can you can go in through. And your and your and your supervisor will go. Hey, I'm gonna you know I'll, maybe you go and talk with them and go. I have to put some retroactive vacation time in that I'd taken or I was putting sure. in wrong or whatever. And he'll go. Okay. Sure. But she'll say yeah. Yeah. Right. Super easy. Super flexible. Okay, that is the absence management worklet or just yeah. in plain English, that's taking time off in workday. Yeah. And it's just basically you highlighting stuff on a calendar. That's how the that's how the regular person would just say it. There you go. In a worklet though. In a worklet. Yeah. All right. Thanks Alex. Make it a great day at work.